Good day friends. Today I am going to share with you some of the important information about one of the globally recognized certification that is CFE Certified Fraud Examiner from ACFE Association of Certified Fraud Examiners USA Obtaining the CFE certification will be best thing that you would have ever done in your any of the education path so it will make you more marketable in the field of internal audit that i'm sure because obtaining this credential you will be in position to demonstrate your excellence in the field of internal auditor also showcase your professional competence in the field of the fraud prevention and deterrence why i'm saying this because the time has gone when an internal auditor was supposed to just engage into the uh, voucher verification and also giving their assurance on the policy compliances and also the statutory compliances now the time has completely changed when management is expecting something more from an internal auditor apart from giving these kind of reasonable assurance on this policy and statutory compliances and in management is supposed management uh, requested and also have some expectation from internal auditor to help management in preventing the potential frauds in the organization and also help organization in the field of detection and deterrence of the any of the frauds which may be prevailing into the organization so by obtaining this certification you will be enabled you will be in position to show that you are the right person as an internal auditor which is actually desired by the management so i recommend this certification to every person in the field of internal audit so that they should pursue this course and they should get this certification and demonstrate their excellence so uh, now i will be sharing few information about how to become cfe so the primarily it is divided into the four steps so step number 1 is join the acfe means first you have to become the member of acfe acfe so by paying approximately 75 dollars uh, you can become a member of acfe for one year that is the first and foremost important thing to start the cfe course so once you become the member then you can second step is that prepare for the exam that that is you can just uh, uh, get through the study material given by the institute and also the question banks and uh, you can get yourself ready to appear into the exam so let me explain a little bit more about it uh, the cfe course is divided into the four sections so section number one is fraud fin financial transactions and fraud scheme second is law third is investigation and fourth one is fraud prevention and deterrence we'll share we'll try to share another videos to its while we'll be explaining the uh, detail of these uh, each sections so once you will done with these sections then you have you can uh, approach for this uh, step number 3 that is appear for the exam first you have to actually enroll into the examination so first step is join the acfe become the member second is prepare for the exam third is enroll into the exam so uh, how we can enroll into the exam so you have to pay Four hundred dollars as a cumulative fees for all of the four sections, and you can uh, uh, give the exam. And the fourth step is the appearing to the exam and pass the exam. So uh, I would like to share few more information about this examination pattern. Actually, as I mentioned, you will have the uh, you you have to appear into the four sections. Section one and every exam will have hundred questions. and you will have 2 hours to complete that uh, for each section you can give any of the exam any any of the time any time means uh, there is no uh, any restriction that you have to follow the module 1 then 2 and then 3 and then 4 you can give any of the section as per your convenience second important thing is that this is a online based exam means you have to give exam by logging into the website of the organization it means you can give exam at your convenient palace whether it is home or library or it is your office or it's a cyber cafe as per your convenience you can give an exam yes
I know what is question, what questions coming into your mind. No, it's not that. It's not a open book exam at all. It's hundred percent closed book exam. Why I'm saying this? Because when you will be appearing for the exam, you have to own your microphones as well as your front camera. So your entire audio and video recording will be captured by the organization and will be screened before they release your exam exam results. Right, so it's a closed book exam. So, so third important thing is that you have to complete all of the four sections in a period of 30 days. Now the question is when that period of 30 days will start. So as I mentioned, when you will enroll for the exam, you will be getting four separate examination keys for each session sections. Once you will enter any of the examination key into the software, your time period will start from that time only. So from that time, within the 30 days, you have to complete all of the four sections. But there is no specific restrictions between the difference of the each sections. You can give all of the four sections exams in one day or you can give one exam on one day, second maybe after two days, after one week or after 10 days or all of the three sections after 29 days also. So within a period of 30 days, you have to complete all of the four sections. Fourth important thing is that every section will have 100 questions and you will have two hours to complete those 100 questions. And you have to score at least 75% in each section to clear the examination. So, and one important thing, one more important thing is that there is no negative marking. So obviously 100% of the question should be attempted. So, and the last important thing is that you have to pass all of the sections to get these certifications. In case you were unable to, you are not in position to pass any of the sections, nothing to worry. You have two more chances to clear that section. For example, you appeared for the four sections within a period of 30 days and you cleared two sections, remaining two sections you failed. So you can give those two sections again and again you don't have to pay you don't have to pay that $400 again. You have to just pay $25 per section, right? So if you failed into the two sections, you just pay $50 and you can reappear for those two sections once. And if, even if you failed into the one of the section, then again, you can appear into the uh, that sections again. It means main section, main uh, out time plus two times you can give these exams within a, within three attempts you have to clear complete your all of the four sections right once you will submit your all of the exams uh, uh, exam uh, answers into the software your result your uh, data bank your data will be submitted to the organization to the institute and they will declare the results within a five to seven days as i mentioned your audio and video recording will be screened before they announce your result right once you will get the passing notification pass notification from the organization that you have clearly passed your all of these sections then you have to submit your uh, professional uh, education educational uh, uh, documents as well as your correct uh, certificate to the institute and after that you will be getting a hard copy of the credential mentioning you are a certified fraud examiner now so i think i believe that uh, the information provided in this video will be helpful in getting the basic information about this CFE uh, course and the usefulness of getting this credential and uh, obviously we will definitely try to uh, share more videos in further details about each section wise and further how to clear these kind of the exam this exam CFE so we wish you all the very best of luck thank you so much